safe travels. Yeah. All right. All right. Later. Let me know where you're at, what you're doing. Sounds good. See ya. made it to, well, at least one of them did. stoked to be out on course. This is gonna be really, really fun. It's really interesting because out here near Knoxville, you see like all the flowers starting to come out and the blossoms and you're thinking, oh wow, it's so pretty. There's little wildflowers on the ground and then you, you know, we get 30 miles down the road, get into Frozen Head and everything is just dead and gloomy and dark, ominous. So itinerary, I am going to go shopping. I gotta hit up Home Depot to get some work gloves because I don't want these bare hands getting in the way of any briars. Then I've gotta to go to Target and pick up some last minute supplies. Um, probably gonna get like a pillow for my bed here in the van. Maybe some, some padding or bedding. Get some calamine spray for my feet, which seem to be pussing and oozing pretty nicely right now. And then I'm also gonna hit up a grocery store and pick up my final food needs, grab some lunch, go to the hotel, and basically crash out for as long as I possibly can. If I can get 12, 14 hours of sleep tonight, that would be fantastic. And then I'll be rolling into the park tomorrow. That's the plan. Shopping is mostly done. I've got to hit up a couple more stores, gonna grab some lunch, but first I gotta christen my van. Ah, now we're talking. I'm now in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and I just hit up Home Depot, and I got two pairs of gloves. These are to help fend off the briars. So I've got this pair, which is called Extreme, and this one's actually a little bit thinner, so I figure in the daytime loops I can wear this one. And then I got these uh, Heavy Duty, which are maxed out on their durability, and they have extra protection uh, and these might be my nighttime pair, but I have two different options here. Um, I also have like really intense ski gloves if it gets cold, but it's looking like it's not going to be as cold as some years. So um, 
I'm gonna head over to the hotel now. And I was contemplating going and checking out the Brushy Mountain Prison, see if I could get close, just to like get a little bit of it on film. But I think I'm just gonna go to the room first because it'll be about a half hour drive each way. And I don't know if it's worth it. Um, shopping is done though. That feels good. That was a lot. It was like definitely at least three hours of uh, driving around and picking stuff up. But it feels good to be done. I'm all set. I've got more than enough food, probably double what I need, but I've got options that way. Uh, it's really good. Charging station, all set. A little excessive, maybe. I don't know. All right, I just slept for four hours. It's now 9.30 and I'm gonna go get some dinner and then head back to sleep again. So I didn't really get out anywhere. I think I really needed to sleep. So that's a, that's a good thing, I think. Okay, so just continuing to work on my feet. Honestly, the blistering is down quite a bit, which is cool, but now they're just super dried out. But I think I'd rather have them dried out than blistered and swollen. So that's the update. I am heading off to bed now. And tomorrow morning, I'm heading to Frozen Head State Park. Final thoughts. I am feeling nervous, but excited. There is a saying that you don't show up to Barkley with the training you wish you had. You show up with the training you actually have. Something to that effect. Uh, and I think that's really appropriate for me this year because I feel like my training didn't go as planned, but at this point, it doesn't matter anymore. We're here and there's a task at hand and there's 60 hours on the shot clock and I'm just gonna go for it. Talk to you guys soon. <laughs> <laughs>